Oh man, I hate moving. Hi everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Time has come for us to move out from our apartment in Leiden where we have been living for the past three years. And I must say it feels a bit weird. It's the end of an era, the end of a life chapter to move away from here. I'm personally a very sentimental person so I already know that this weekend is gonna feel a bit emotional for me. If you're curious to know what this apartment has looked like before this whole moving chaos, I have made an apartment tour video. If you're wondering why are we moving, where are we going, what, what's going on, then I have made a video as well about that, explaining it all. So today is a Friday and hopefully if everything goes to plan, we'll be out and ready with everything by Monday. We've already been trying to prepare for the move the past month or so. We've been able to sell some of our furniture and also a lot of small things like clothes and books and I've also given away a lot of stuff. So today's plan is to tackle the clothes. So I want to empty my closets and cabinets and make sure that all the clothes are packed. I also already have a big pile of clothes going to donation. My plan is to pack pack things I don't need but want to keep in this suitcase. What I will need in November in this suitcase and then I also need to figure out which backpack to bring. This one would be better because it's smaller but then again this one is from a really good brand. It's from a brand called Halti and I think it has like more features and stuff to it. I am also planning on doing a separate video for what I'm gonna pack with me to South America so if you're interested in seeing what I'm gonna bring, then don't worry, I've got you. So firstly, I think I'm gonna tackle this closet here. Let's get to work. So I think I'm already gonna try and categorize these clothes in those three categories mentioned, so that then when I bring them there, it'll be a bit easier. One of those shirts I'm not sure of if I should bring it with me to South America or not. So maybe I need to make a maybe pile as well. <laughs> I thought I had done a good job of getting rid of clothes. This is making me realize I still had more left than I thought. I still have uh, all my shirts and stuff in this one. Wish me luck. Before I'm gonna tackle that white cabinet, let's try and make this a bit <laughs> less chaotic and put it in nice piles and already try and pack some things away. I'm just making a bigger mess. Oh man. I hate moving. Let's see how realistic it is for me to fit the things I don't want to bring in this suitcase. So let's try our best. Or I guess I'm alone with this, but you guys are here mentally with me as well. It's starting to look better. It's now the evening and I think I've done okay today. We packed away my work computer. The biggest dilemma I've had today is still which backpack to bring. Yeah, I don't know. I was feeling a bit defeated because whilst I was packing the big backpack, I really thought that I was bringing very little things until I'm starting to notice like it was like full, like I it was too much things. So I had to put away so much of the clothes that I was planning on bringing to South America and now I feel <laughs> like I'm going there with so little. Oh well, I, I, I still need to figure it out a bit, but I'm feeling tired. It's 10 p.m. and I am uh, yeah kind of dead from today, so I think I'm gonna go to bed now. And then tomorrow, there's a lot to do. I need a good night's sleep now, so see you tomorrow.
Good morning, it's the next morning or actually it's already day, but we've been quite productive already. We've taken away clothes to donation and we've taken apart already one piece of furniture and I was able to repack the backpack and I did it with a completely like different method and it worked much, much better. So I'm able to bring the smaller backpack and there's even room left. So I'm feeling super satisfied. Now my next mission is to empty this. I'm hoping they can all fit in one box. We only have, I think, five or six banana boxes in total. And we're gonna try our best to fit everything in only those boxes. I've managed to empty all the kitchen closets and uh, we still need to pack the things we want to keep and next we need to put our big closet into pieces because yeah they're too big you can't fit them through the door downstairs so you have to put it in smaller pieces and then we're taking it to the recycle center feeling dead we've done a lot look how empty it looks so over here we have some things we're taking to the recycle center on monday that table is actually the only piece of furniture that we are keeping because well we love it so much so we want to keep it then over here we have everything basically packed everything there is going to the trash i think we still have some glass we need to throw away and stuff but other than that we've pretty much done all the moving stuff for today tonight in the evening we are actually having a goodbye dinner with our friends so i've booked us a table from this pizzeria i'm really excited to see all my leiden friends for one more time before going it's it's a bit sad but i'm glad that we're like doing something still together now before we go because then once i'm in brabant i don't think i'm gonna be coming here to Leiden. But yeah, I'm gonna relax now and then later you guys will get to join us to the goodbye dinner as well Off to the dinner morning we've just had a big breakfast and i think it was the last meal that we made in this apartment and the desk that was here is gone and the computer that was on it has been packed and now next my operation is to defreeze the freezer and also generally clean the fridge <laughs> mother has arrived to help us and she's brought some proper cleaning equipment that we can use for example like oven washing stuff they are currently taking our bed apart 
and I am cleaning this thing that's like from the oven. Having a chocolate croissant break. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Mm. <laughs> Slowly getting there, but I must say, cleaning the oven is definitely my least favorite part. <laughs> so annoying to clean, but I'm almost done with it. I've actually never eaten McDonald's here in the Netherlands, except for once I had an ice cream, but I've never had like a burger. So today we thought because we're moving and we can't eat at home anyway and stuff, that we would come to McDonald's. And currently they have a meatless Mac croquette. So croquette is like a very Dutch food. So I decided to go for that and have a proper Dutch McDonald's experience still. And yeah, this feels like a nice little reward after a day of hard work. We did get quite a lot done today, so I feel good, but I'm so tired. Now, relaxing and food for a bit. I got my Mac Croquette. Let's do a taste test. There's literally nothing else in here but bread, the Mac Croquette, and some sauce. But I thought it would be like a burger, that it would have like cheese and vegetables but no <laughs> let's try tastes like a croquette in a burger <laughs> it's good but not super special <laughs> yeah i was th thinking it was would be more of a burger experience not just bread and croquette that's what you get in a shop like always when you order a croquette you get it with bread oh, well and I also got the frites sauce. I think this is also a Dutch thing, this sauce for fries. Yeah. At least we don't have this in Finland. I don't know, do you have the frites sauce in your country? Or is it a Dutch thing? We just managed to sell the last piece of furniture, which was like this coat hanger thing. And also cleaned a few minor things still now in the evening. It feels like it's super late, but it's actually only a bit past 7 p.m. But the clocks were also turned last night, so that's why it feels like it's later than what it is. This last night in this apartment, we're sleeping on the floor. Well, we do have a mattress, but we don't have a bed anymore. But yeah, this is our last night in our apartment, which feels weird. Like, I'm feeling sentimental about it, but then at the same time, I just can't wait to get done with this move. Like, it's gonna be feel so good once we're done with it. Now we're gonna relax and enjoy our last evening here in our home in Leiden. Good morning, it's moving day. Oh, I'm so tired. Gotta get going. I just did a little walk and I visited the pharmacy because there was something I still needed to get. And I was feeling a bit sentimental because I was like, oh, this is one of the last times I'm walking down the streets in line. And well, of course we're going back to the Netherlands and I'm sure we'll be visiting Leiden. But I'm not sure if we're gonna be living in Leiden anymore. And I also visited the grocery store, got some breakfast. And I was thinking, oh, this is the last time probably that I'm visiting like our grocery store. Having some breakfast now. I have a kaas brodje, so a cheese bread. Yeah, we're waiting for Rol's parents to arrive and then we're gonna start emptying the apartment. So we're gonna take a lot of things to like this recycle center, like all the old furniture and stuff. And then we still need to like clean the floors. So I think Rol's mom is bringing like a steam cleaner or something. Still got a lot ahead today, but we can do it. Luckily we got a lot done yesterday, so yeah.
it is slowly but surely getting empty. some lunch all together and then we need to hand in the keys to the landlord still so. yeah it's empty let Rol's parents choose where to go for lunch as they've been helping us and they chose Fabo so we're going to Fabo apartment so we have now arrived to Brabant to Rule's parents home where we're gonna be living for the next three four ish weeks before our big trip to South America. Feels really weird to yeah think that we can't go back to that apartment anymore like it still feels like if I would now go to Leiden I could go to the apartment and everything would be as it was before we started the move but obviously that's not the case. I guess it's gonna take some time to process it all. When I moved to the Netherlands before we got the apartment in Leiden we also lived here so it feels like a bit of a full circle moment now to be back here but we are all super tired it's only like 8 30 but i think we're all gonna go to bed soon already tomorrow we still need to empty the van where we packed our things but yeah i'm in brabant now so for the next few videos i guess you can expect some videos from here i'm gonna end this vlog here now if you enjoyed it remember to give it a thumbs up remember also to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching bye bye